Welcome to my workplace for hands-on FACO and SICS training. Let us observe this totally unedited surgery. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with BSAs or ringer lactate after applying few drops of pobidon iodine. The ocular surface has been prepared uh, in the preparation room nicely. Few drops of pobidon iodine was applied. The eyeball was kept closed for about 5 minutes and then the ocular surface is washed with antibiotic drops. And now this is just running wash in the operation table. The main incision has been made with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The antechamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now capsular excess. Capsular excess is done with the help of a uh, uterata forceps. And if we remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the pupil, we get a nice round rexus. And if we practice this mindful approach, most of the cases we get a round rexus. Hydrodissection is done, hydrodelineation is also done. We have we can see a golden ring in this case. And now uh, I am going to preach off this nucleus into fragments. The preach chopper goes through the main wound and the nucleus sustainer hooks the opposite equator and the two instruments are advanced to each other and we get a very good cuts on the nucleus and we divide the nucleus into four pieces. We cut the nucleus into four pieces. The nucleus sustainer helps in you know, cutting. And now we go with the FACO needle and uh, pick up the pieces, the free nuclear fragments. It is extremely easy to pick up these pieces. We just have to separate the pieces and uh, place the, you know, place the FACO needle at the apex of the pieces and they come easily. We have to bring the pieces at the center of the anterior chamber and emulsify them. Now I am trying to uh, remove the cortex by the hand piece itself. If you practice this in routine cases gradually and uh, if you at any point of time you feel it is going to be dangerous, you stop. The nuclear sustainer is kept at a uh, level about 2 millimeters below the you know, hand piece and we can protect the PC by the nucleus sustainer, the ball tipped uh, instrument. And now this is polishing of the posterior capsule by the irrigating probe itself. And here goes the intraocular lens. The lens is, you know, hydro implantation of the lens is done. The left hand is the irrigating probe, irrigating cannula and just by push it goes into the back. So all single piece lenses can be placed in the bag you know by this technique by this hydro implantation technique. But if there is a multi-piece lens we must be very cautious we should use viscoelastic substance in uh, multi-piece lenses like sensor multi-piece or oro multi-piece lenses. And now we are towards the end of the surgery, the integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please learn great job. It makes your life easier in soft cataracts. Soft cataracts, if you try to hold the soft nucleus, what happens most of the time is you just eat up the nuclear matter in front. It's just there's a, there's a space, there's a gap. You cannot hold the 
nuclear matter. In those cases, that means in grade 2 nuclear sclerosis, this is a beautiful instrument and uh, if you practice this, it takes only 4-5 cases to learn the technique. If you practice this, your life will be very easy in managing soft cataracts.